What's up, everybody? Hello, it's Friday. I'm back, and uh, I'm doing a Dimash song to start the day. Uh, I'm doing Omer Oter. Uh, it could be pronounced incorrectly, but I, I do my best. Um, we'll get into it in just a second. Before I do, I just want to actually... I always have a couple caveats up front, but I wanted to say a third thing. Um, there are people who love the way I react to videos. They love the way I do things, the way I'm fairly calm and measured, and I just try to give an honest appraisal of the video. And then there are people who think that I'm being disrespectful. I am not here to argue with either group, but I want you to know up front, I am a laid back sort of commentator, okay? I watch the video, I watch the song, I listen to it. I try to give my honest appraisal, but I'm not somebody who is really, you know, jumping up and down, falling out of my chair, going over the top with my reactions. There are people who genuinely are like that, okay? I'm not accusing them of faking it. There are people who really do react to things like that, but I don't react to anything like that. Basically nothing in my life gets that much of a reaction out of me. So, uh, just so you understand up front, if that's what you're looking for, you're probably not gonna get it from my channel. And I'm not bothered if you wanna go find it somewhere else. There are other people who do these reactions and you are more than welcome to go listen to their uh, opinions and, and watch them enjoy it, okay? I, the way I enjoy things is different. So I just wanted to say that um, you can't please everybody, right? For those of you out there who um, are, are worried about, you know, popularity or whatever, you, you're never gonna please everybody. So just be yourself and uh, trust that the right people will stick around. With that out of the way, uh, I have two caveats. One is I'm not a professional vocal coach or um, audio tech or engineer or anything like that. I took choir. I know how to read music. I play piano. Uh, I'm, I'm fairly musical, but I am not a professional and I'm not an expert. So my reaction is not going to be um, based on my expertise. All right. Um, part two is don't be a dick. Um, you may not like my opinion. You may disagree with it. Uh, you may not. I haven't watched the song yet. I don't know what I think of it. But I would just ask, I try to be respectful of the artist and of the fan base of whatever I'm listening to. And I would just ask that you be um, professional in your responses if you're gonna if you're gonna disagree with me. It's totally fine, but like let's just keep the personal shots out of it. Uh, I got my coffee. So we are ready to go. The this is Omer Oter by Dimash. That's good coffee.
I know I was looking away there at the end. I had to look something up. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll get to what I was looking up in a second. Uh, I I really like this one. I have I have enjoyed all of his pieces. Right, different pieces uh, hit me in different ways, as it is for everybody. Uh, this one was by far the heaviest like instrumentation uh, I have seen in uh, one of his pieces. I'm a guy that likes heavy music. I like seeing that heaviness come in. Uh, I thought it was really cool. Okay, so what I was looking up, the dombas, um, I'd never seen a side-on angle of it being played, so I assumed it was it was pretty much just played the way you know a standard stringed instrument would be played. But it looks like you're not actually connecting the strings to the fretboard, right? It, it's it seems to be not uh, like with the guitar. Which I happen to have here, you push the string all the way down, right? So that it's connected, it's flat against the board. And that's how you get your clarity of sound. But with that dombiz, it appears that uh, you just push on the string. It doesn't, it, it's really interesting. Like I I know I'm, I'm sort of uh, derailing a little bit onto this, but I'd never seen uh, how it was actually played from the side just just those front shots from a couple other videos. So that's really cool. Um, I know it's a really ancient instrument. Um, people say it's quite possibly the oldest stringed instrument. Um, and I think it's really cool. I like how he incorporates that into his music. Um, I know that he has uh, a lot of respect for his uh, Kazakh heritage. And I think that's awesome. Um, there are a lot of people in that part of the world who have had their cultures um, nearly stamped out by one uh, power or another. And I think it's great to see people um, retain their, their national history and be able to um, be proud of it and, and embrace it today. Uh, great performance from Dimash. I really couple things I like I like his projecting I've mentioned this probably I think in every video and I would say don't get don't expect me to not mention it again um, but when he transitions from the first verse maybe first couple verses into that uh, I don't know chorus I, I, I don't know exactly how the song is structured right I mean I listened to it but I don't know how it's how it's composed um, but he transitions from that 
more breathy voice, that more um, you know subdued tone into that full throated projection. Very very good. And then he he again he shows that he can go from uh, he can transition notes and and even themes right because he finishes up that that high piece. I don't know, three minutes in, three and a half minutes in, they're towards, kind of towards the end of the vocal portion. And then he drops down perfectly back into the, uh, I guess, the reprise of the intro. Um, I've said this in other videos about him and other vocalists. He doesn't slide, right? He has, he has perfect pitch, so he knows where he needs to hit. Um, some vocalists will slide into notes, which you're told not to do by vocal coaches. I do know that much. Um, but like, instead of hitting your ha, uh, ha, uh, right? People go ha, uh, ha, uh, and they'll slide into it, ha. Uh, because they're not confident of getting it on the first, um, the first attempt, right? If I know I can hit that note exact, I don't have to slide into it because I'm just gonna drop in, right? Perfectly, bam, bam. But if I'm not confident, that I can find that note with my first breath, I'm going to get close and just find it, right? And that can be very effective. I'm not saying that you can't sing like that and be a good singer, but the hallmark of somebody who is, I mean, professionally trained for one thing, but also somebody who has the kind of ability that he has is that you just never, you never hear it. He never slides. He always keeps the right mouth shape. He always keeps the projection. Very, very impressive. This song to me, I, I don't know what it is about. So I'll be honest uh, about that. If you want to fill me in on the exact details, I'd be happy to learn them. It feels like a song that could be very much written about revolution, war, independence, things like that. Um, you know, what it, what it put me in mind of was young people dying in wars. That's what it made me think of. Um, I don't know if that's what it's intended to conjure, but that's the great thing about music, right? Even if you know what a song is meant to say, it can say something different to you. And what it was saying to me was, it's really tragic how many lives get cut short by getting sent off to war. Some people want to go and some people never wanted to go and they just got sent. Um, but they come home in the same body bags, right? And uh, I'm I'm fairly anti-war uh, as a general rule, so I I hate to I hate to see that happening. Anyway, that's that's just my take on it. If there is a official interpretation of the song, I'd be happy to know it, and I'm sure that some of you will share it with me. Uh, thank you all for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you want. I, I don't, I'm not a Dimash only channel. I do a lot of other stuff. I try to do one of these a week or so, somewhere in there. Maybe two, depending on the week. Um, but yeah, go ahead and like and subscribe. Give me a comment. Um, you know, support me. Help me get more coffee. Uh, get lots of sleep. Drink more water. And be nice to each other. Uh, have a good day, everybody.